Hello there viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Nameless Version. I am Gamer Sky. Last time we had done the last remaining couple of side quests and events and then arrived here in battle department, defeated four challengers, six more to go and then the hoster. Then we will go and catch the last legendary Pokemon and then conclude in our journey here in the Nameless. Today we are starting with the Alma battle. So let's do it. So one thing I'm going to ask you, I want you to provide you the data on the Pokemon nameless which I gathered while playing this journey like TM and HM location, wild Pokemon locations, legendary Pokemon locations, skills location, walkthrough events, everything. So if you need that, comment down below. I will create a community post on that one also so that he will give you a response on that post and then I will start creating videos on that and I'm posting between days like one day break first I will post a video on walkthrough events then on legendary Pokemon location then on the wild Pokemon location etc like that if you want that comment down I will start doing working on that one but now let's focus on this final part which is not a final part actually, but it's going to be a final part today. Uh, Minsha, sorry, Metagross is still sleeps in the PC, chilling off the account. Let's go for return. So we have to go with Minsha with Lopony. Minsha is down. Next one is a Gyarados. Okay, take on the Gyarados, Lopony. Let's go with return. And oh, Gyarados survive. He's going to use a full restore if I'm not wrong. So I better be use full heal. Yep, full restore Alma. I knew it. And now with the speed boost and the attack power increase due to swagger, Gyarados is going to go down definitely. Scent Scorch. Let's go with Primarina, Bug and Fire type. Let's go for Bubble Beam. There we go. Scent Scorch is down. And we defeated Alma. Okay. Fire Turner down. Next one is Sybil. We haven't battled Sybil in this game. So this is our first battle. Using a Sceptile as usual. Let's make a wall and let's go for Ice Punch. You have defeated 5 turners now, 5 more to go. These 3 are here. We'll have to defeat 2 trainers outside the room. Lucario. Let's go for Karate Chop. Since a part of steel type, going to be a super effective. Oh, Diancy, a fairy and a rock type. So we can use Hydro Pump also. We can go for Karate Chop. I'm trying my fairy type. So Bubble Beam will be effective. And that fairy type move will don't do that much. Magic Coat, no problem. I'm not going to give a status problem with you. I don't have that move either. Sturdy ability definitely. Full Restore. Definitely have a sturdy ability. Let's go for hyper voice this time. Not very effective. Let's go for bubble beam now. There we go. Diancy is down. Milotic. Let's go with Megalopony. Let's go for return. There we go. Milotic is down. Paul Corona, let's go Primarina, it's up to you again. Let's go for Bubble Beam, Paul Corona is Flamethrower, which is not very effective. And Paul Corona is down. Duraludon, let's go Lapony, it's a Dragon and Steel type. Let's go for Karate Chop. Duraludon is down. 
and we defeated golden trio Saibu. And let's go with Absolvi. We doesn't battle in long time. Yes, you're right about that. We both have Lopunis, but my Lopunis is different now. You Mega Evolve, I'm going to be Extreme Evolve. 87. Difficulty is increasing. I don't... I haven't seen that. I think Cyber is just 85. Since Absolve is our old rival, that's why she's using a powerful Pokemon, maybe. Let's go for return. So I, I thought 9 10 will be a little one, that's why I put Lopuni in the battle. Mel Metal? Oh ho! Let's go for Karate Chop. Mel Metal. Use Meteor Mash. Don't do that much because part of fighting type. Let's go for Karate Chop again. Mel Metal is down. Poltigist. Ghost type. So definitely going to switch to Gyarados. Let's go for Crunch. Fake out. No problem. Let's go for one more Crunch. And super effective. Poltigist is down. Zoroark. Let's go with Lopony. Let's go for Karate Chop. Only her Mega Mon is level 87, otherwise, she is also using normal Pokemon. Kingdra, let's go with Garchomp. Don't use Dragon type move or Water type move. Kingdra is down with Outrage. Golden Trio Absolvi is out from the battle. Professor Neil is up to you. A fake Professor Neil battled me earlier. So now it's up to you, the original one. Mewtwo. Don't know its form. It's X or Y. Maybe X is expected. Yep, X. Since he's working on X form in Mega Power, so expected to be Mewtwo X. Survive high jump kick. We down. It's part of fighting type as well, so we can go for moon blast. Since golden trio nearly use a full restore. And we need to sacrifice one of our Pokemon in order to. Next one is Heliolisk. Let's go guard charm for now. And let's go for dig. Thunder wave doesn't affect, but static ability may paralyze guard chomp. Next one is a Mew. Holy shit! Using a strong Pokemon here, Professor Nail. Let's go for Crunch Thunderbolt. You have to survive this one Thunderbolt at least, Gyarados. Okay, he may be used full restore, so I'm using Max Revive on Lopuni. Yep, Professor Neil use full restore. Thunderbolt will take down Gyarados, no problem. Now let's go with Lopuni. It's going to be the normal Lopuni now, so that's the problem only. We have to survive this one psychic. Thank you. Let's go for a turn. More challenging Professor Neil compared to other ones. Skarmory. Let's go for a fire punch. Okay. Let's use a full restore. Fly will give a nice amount of damage. You pathetic Skarmory. Let's go for a fire punch. Skarmory is down. Swampert is the next one. Let's go for return. Since no Pokemon we have is effective against a ground and water type. We can go with Swampert and Lopunny battle. Let's go Silvalli. 
All right, then use Crush Claw. Swampert is down. Next one is a Salazzle. So let's go Primarina. Salazzle is the last choice of Professor. Sludge Bomb, give more damage and poison also, but finger cross to knock out that Salazzle in just one bubble beam. Thank you. I am the stronger, no problem. Okay, so we defeated nice amount of trainers today. You can see right now, but we down into very few Pokemon left. Last two revives and max revive. Let's go Hyper Potion on Gyarados and on Lopunny. Did we have Ether? Yep, thank you. Return has to be increased. The PPs. Okay. So now which one? They all look like a normal trainers to me. Oh, that magician guy. It's Wolsey. Hey, what's up, hero? Actually, I'm here to do some hero things. Okay. Isn't that the hero Wolsey? Oh, wow. It is. Nice. So let's go Mega Evolve. He's going to Extreme Evolve and he's going to Mega Evolve his Guard Boy. Yes, I know I never knew Boltsy will be here in this game. Though I watched his Let's Play but I never watched it up at the end. Wow. Incineroar. Let's go Primarina. Let's go for Bubble Beam. This is our ninth challenge. Okay, next one is a Zero Aura. Let's go with Card Chomp. Let's go for a Dig. Swords then, no problem. I'm going underground now. Oh, -ho, Sword Sands once again. Zero Aura is down. Nine Tails. The thing is, I don't know which nine tails he is using. Let's go with Lopony. Okay. Hello, Lanman. Nice choice to use Lopony. Let's go for Fire Punch. Lopony is down. Oh, sorry. Nine tails is down. Decidueye. Okay. Now it's using some Alolan Mons. Let's go for Fire Punch. And the last one is the Zoroark. Nearly each trainer used Zoroark against us in this battle department. So we have to battle Elijah next. Incredible. Thank you. Okay, so last challenger to go. Let's battle Elijah. And what about our health? Is okay. The last challenge will be against Elijah. Pidgeot. A nice challenge. So let's go for extreme evolution and then go for an ice punch on this mega Pidgeot. Elijah's mega rain Pidgeotite. This looks like a dragon type to me when it's mega evolve. Pidgeot is down. Elijah is coming for the battle. Let's go for a Karate Chop. Super effective. Next one is a Mimikyu. Let's go with Primarina. Let's go for Bubble Beam using a Sword Stance. Play Rough. Are you kidding me? I'm already a Fairy Type. Why are you using a Fairy Type move against a Fairy Type? Salazzle. Yes, we have to switch to Guard Chomp. Since we have a ground type available. Let's go for Dig. And we are faster than Salazel, which is also a good thing. Salazel knows Dragon Pulse. Wow. Dragon is Guard Chomp is faster. Next one, he is using a Guard Chomp too. Let's go for the Outrage. Our Guard Chomp is powerful. Inteleon, it's a Water type. 
uh, Galar starter, Sobel's final form, fake out, no problem. Let's go for return. And there we go, Inteleon is down. Thank you for the battle. And let's check Alan is ready, or oh, sorry, Iron is ready or not. But first, let me use a hyper potion on Primarina. And for safety, use on Lopuni. And let's use an Aether again on return. Okay, so we are up against Iron now. Yep, I am ready. So Pokemon Trainer Iron using a Salamence. Okay, not going to Mega Evolve, but wow, he's going to attack Lopuni. I forget that. Oh, no attack. Dragon Dance, no problem. Dragon type move, so don't do a thing to me. Let's go for Moon Blast. It's continuously using Dragon Dance. So that means we have to defeat that Mega Salamence with Primarina. There we go, Salamence is down. Kyurem, oh ho. Ice and Dragon. Let's go for Moonblast. Oh, Thunderbolt, you kidding me? This Dragon Beast knows a Thunderbolt. Let's go for the Moonblast. Kyurem is down. Next one, the Magnet Zone. Let's go Lopony. Now it's your turn to shine in the battle with Extreme Evolution and with your Fire Punch. Alright then, Magnet Zone is down. Shaming. It's a normal Shaming. Let's go for Fire Punch. I thought he will use a Sky Form Shaming, but nope. Gyarados, we don't have electric, so have to use Lopuni. Let's go for return. Gyarados may survive just like the last Gyarados. Yep, Swagger. Let's go for a full heal. Iron is a full restore, but this time Lopuni's speed is increasing and with return. Gyarados is going to go down thanks to that swagger. The last one is a big teeny. Let's go with Primarina. Let's go for Bubble Beam. Big teeny uses Psychic. Critical hit on Primarina. And big teeny is down. Super effective. Yep. Thank you for the battle. Obtain the Ace Ribbon. Okay, so we are done here in battle department. So only one place to go to conclude this adventure. Let's go back to the White Wave City. First of all, I need to heal up my Pokemon. So just heal up. Thank you for that Nurse Joy. And let's go back to the Landy region so that we can go back to the Prophet Palace. Uh, I want to go to the Landy. Now let's go for the bird call again to activate the features source in the sky prophet palace prophet palace can't we go with the easily with to the prophet palace yep prophet palace we are here let's talk to a guy here there it is oh wow you have both ace ribbon and land a medal i'm impressed lady i think you des deserve to know my new discovery Listen, there's a smaller island on the east of this island. A very scary Pokemon lives on that island. It fires laser beams from all over its body. I think most adventurers are not strong enough to deal with it. But you, you are different lady. I believe you have the power to beat it. So new area is unlocked. And let's go with the bird call on that scary looking Pokemon. You say the east of the island. So there we go. East of the island is only one way. Unknown place with an undiscovered area. I see some electric types here. Let's use, uh, sorry, not full heal, the repel. Okay, only one way to go up 
Okay. Okay. So we take our wrong path. No, no. We are going. Oh, shit. There it is. Let's catch it. Ultra Necrozma. Let's go with the Master Ball. 85. Insanely strong. But no problem. Let's transfer to BC. Now we have done here. Let's go back to the Swords in the Sky. And let's go back to Alcosia Town. Alright then, please take me back to my hometown. Western Tyron. Let's use the bird call again. Let's go back to Monolith Village. So thank you guys for watching this video. This is the last episode of our Let's Play. Our journey concludes today. But still, which I asked you earlier, if you need the walkthrough events and all the stuff, comment down below. I will do the video on that one. In 2-3 videos, I will do that and conclude this nameless Let's Play. And I'm going to begin the Let's Play of Omega Ruby with a voiceover in Hindi. So stay tuned. Until then, goodbye.